Okay, now you've got your camera and you're gonna start shooting your shots. What are the things you need to pay attention to? Well, the first one is focus and the second one is frame. So focus is making the picture clear and frame is where does the top and the bottom and the left and right end. That's called the frame or the shot, the frame. Okay, these seem very basic, don't they? I think the reason they're basic is because we often use our phone to shoot the video. And what do we do for focus? Uh, we don't worry about it. The phone will have what's called autofocus. And maybe you've seen that in videos where someone is trying to shoot the video and it becomes unclear and then slowly it becomes clear. And sometimes it becomes unclear again and then clear. That's called autofocus. The camera will try to focus by itself automatically. My advice on that is don't use autofocus. Turn it off. Always turn it off. Make sure it's off. Now, if you're shooting with a phone, you may not be able to turn off autofocus. Auto Maybe you can, and you can use the finger focus, right? So if you're using an iPhone, you tap your finger onto the area you want to focus, and then the lens will focus right on that spot. But you want to make sure it doesn't have autofocus because then if something happens, then it will change the focus again and become blurry and then maybe it'll become clear. But that very much interrupts the shot. So my point is, try to get to manual focus no matter what. Almost every camera has a setting where you can turn off autofocus. Now, the disadvantage of autofocus turning off is that if your camera is moving, then it's going to be hard to stay in focus. Autofocus is great because you can move your camera and something that's close is in focus. Now something's far away, it changes focus and it's in focus. Now something's close again. Or maybe your talent, your actor or actress is walking towards the camera, then the autofocus will keep changing the focus. But if autofocus is off and you move the camera, suddenly things will be blurry out of focus. I'm sure you've seen that in many movies or TV shows where they use that in focus and then the camera turns and then blurry, 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 and then clear. And then blurry, 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 and then clear. So they move the camera between two things. Those two things are clear and the in between is unclear. That's because autofocus is off and it's on manual focus. So the reason I say keep autofocus off is because for your projects you want to keep things as simple as possible. Probably the camera will be on a tripod sitting still, not moving. And probably your talent will be in one area. They might walk, but they're going to stay in that area. That distance to the camera is about the same distance, not changing. Just like me sitting here now. I'm not moving around back and forth very much. Now, if I was moving around, that'd be a different issue. But I think production that I'm doing, keep it simple, don't move around a lot. Because if I move around, things will be out of focus. The most dangerous thing is you're shooting your shot and all of a sudden the camera begins to auto-focus on its own. So things are clear and then a little bit unclear, but then they're clear again. You don't notice. And then later when you edit your video, you kind of notice it. And it's like nothing you can do about it now. It's too late. So autofocus can be very troublesome that way. I like to take control and I advise you, don't let bad things happen. If you let your camera do things automatically, it may do things you don't want it to do and then you regret that. The other thing that goes along with focus is the frame, the shot. Now, let me challenge you to give a little test to yourself. Try a little homework and that is, turn on the TV and watch some television programs or even some commercials and look at the frame when someone is talking where's the top of the frame where's the bottom of the frame I think you'll be surprised what you find look at the frame I'm shooting now from the top of my head to the top of the frame that's a lot of space there now why did I do that I do that because I often use these slides here so I need space to show my slides but 
if you turn on the TV or you watch a movie and someone's talking, I bet that frame is not going to be there, but rather it's going to be right up to here even, sometimes even here, cutting off the head a little bit. Very, very close. That's a good way to shoot. You do not want to have lots of head space. When you film, when you use your video, you shoot the video, it's always the tendency of amateurs to give lots of head space. But in professional video, you don't do that. You cut that out. You give little head space. Use it up. Maybe get your camera closer and get rid of that head space. My case is a special case. I have lots of head space. It's horrible. I hate it. All this head space. Why? Because I'm putting these slides in here and I need you to read them over my head. Here I am with all this head space. That's wasted space. Just wasted. That's really, really bad. For me, I'm using it for a slide. But for you, I don't think you're going to have slides. Now, if you have slides, then maybe you need head space. But usually, none. So, keep things in focus by using manual focus and get the frame to be as small as possible. In other words, you want to get close to your subject. Right now we're pretty far away because I'm talking about things, I have slides, but I'm going to get closer because I'm going to go to the hardware table where I'm much closer and have a much tighter frame. So let's go to the hardware table. Okay, here we are at the hardware table and look at my frame. It's a very different frame, isn't it? Now my head is right at the top of the frame and I'm very closed in on the frame. This is a much better frame. Now I'm not showing slides here. I'm showing equipment, right? This is the hardware table, so I'm showing things. So we got the frame closed in. You should be always thinking about this. Keep the frame close. Don't waste the space, especially no head space. That's a huge no-no, a big waste but people do it all the time by accident. You see, if I'm down here talking, why am I so tiny and the frame is so big? That's called head space, wasting it. All right, so this is our hardware table shot, a nice frame. I like this frame much better than the other frame, actually. What's another thing we have here? We have this other camera angle, and that's this angle here. And this angle shows my things on my hardware table, right? So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the focus. Now, the way to do a focus is this. You need to look into your camera lens. So here's my camera. And your camera will usually have an L LCD panel you can open, and everybody likes to use that. But when you focus, you need to close that, and you need to use the eyepiece. You need to look right into the eyepiece like that and then change your focus because here you're going to get the clearer picture. Some of these eyepieces are even in this camera black and white, not even color. I like black and white better because it makes it easier to focus, more clear. But that's pretty rare these days, they're almost always color. So you go ahead, you put your eye on there. You don't use the LCD panel because it's not clear enough, it's easy, too easy to miss things. So I put my eye and leg get really close and then I change my focus. Now, how do we do that focus? Well, there's a couple steps to it that maybe you haven't realized. The first step to focus is, let me show you by coming over to this camera here. The first step to focus is zoom in. You need to zoom in all the way, 100%, get as close as possible. And here's my camera here, so let me get those, yeah, you can see that. 3CCD, you can read it very clearly, right? Let me change the focus a little bit. Now I try to focus. See, unfocus, unclear, focus, focus, getting better, better. Slowly turn the focus ring and there, stop. I go further, duh, duh, unclear. go back, back, back. There, focus. Now I pull back my zoom. Going back, back, back. Zooming out, I'm getting a bigger frame here. Hello. Okay, now you get this big picture. That focus is focused right here. See, if I hold this up, you can read 
Samsung on there. But if I move closer, it's becoming harder and harder to read, right? It's out of focus. So the focus is right there. Something here and something there may be out of focus. So I need to remember to keep my equipment right there that I want to film. Okay, so one more time. What do you do? Zoom in first. So if I want to keep my focus, let's say right here, I want to hold something. So I zoom in all the way. Look at that, totally out of focus. Oh my God, that is so horrible. I then turn my focus, getting clearer, clearer, ah, perfect. Now I zoom out, now I make my frame. And I think I want my frame just about like this. And now if I show you the product, I can show you just like this right here. But I must remember to keep my, product right here. I cannot move it backwards or forwards because that would be out of focus, right? If I go back or I go forward, that's not where I focused it. So that zoom in is how you get your focus. Okay, so that's a little trick to use. I have another trick to use that helps me even a little bit more. And that's a special card or a special design to help me get a good focus. And here I have one right here. Ah, here we go. Ta-da! Now let me show that to you. You see that design there? This is a kind of focus ring or a focus chart or a picture for focusing on. I can put that exactly where I want to shoot my subject and I can put that paper there. And then again, what do I do? Zoom in. Try to look at the middle of it, and then I go ahead and change my focus. And wow, look at that. Whoa, that is so easy that way. Look at that, just a little bit one way, a little bit another way, and you can see it's out of focus. Just right there, wow, very sharp, very good. Can okay, I pull out, and I make my frame. And now I know that if I wanna shoot my subject, my talent, he or she needs to stand right there. This is the focus forward a little bit, backward a little bit, out of focus. Let me show you. I'm gonna move this card forward just a little bit. Maybe like what? 20 centimeters. Now if we zoom in, 20 centimeters, guess what? It's out of focus. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. I gotta uh, turn it a little bit and there we go, now it's in focus. You see? So when you zoom out when you have the big frame it's very hard to see the focus you need to get very close to see the focus clearly and it can change very easily okay one more thing i do with that let me show you so what i actually have is a stand so this is a oh boy this is a little bit hard to show this is a stand and on this stand i put a little arm you can use anything and on the end of this arm i have a clip and what do I do? I take this and I put my focus on there, my focus paper. And then I can take this and I can say, okay, I'm gonna sit right here. This is where my head is. Now I can zoom in here, focus, and then zoom out. And I know that's in focus. And that way I can tell my talent to sit in just the right place. I sit right here and now that'll be in focus. Okay, so framing and focusing. It's a little bit uh, counterintuitive. It's something you didn't think of. It's easy to do wrong because it looks okay. But when you check it out in detail, it's not okay. Keep it tight and zoom in and get it. Good luck on your shooting.